Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. While the Iron's Hot is a blacksmith simulator in an art style similar to Zelda 2, here are 8 early game tips to get the most out of your game. Number 1. There's a smelting multiplier. You can add ore to the smelter and leave it alone while it processes, but you can interact with the bellows next to it to make the process faster and also more efficient. When you press F in the lighter red section, you'll produce a bar from your ore to speed things up. However, if you press F in the green section, you produce two bars for the price of one. This leads me into number two, take advantage of that green bar. Instead of tapping once per pass, you can actually spam click through the center and get multiple multiples for even quicker smelting. This is easiest to do with earlier metals since the speed is slower. Number three, you can eventually craft multiples. The arrows appeared sometime after completing the second town. You'll use those arrows on either side to increase and decrease the amount. You can also do this with sharpening too. And on the crafting table, you can batch craft by adding multiples to each spot in the correct ratio. Number four is cutting the excess metal. At the start, you have four hammer strikes to mold your piece on the anvil. If you strike the anvil or the green highlighted spot, you lose a strike. Too many lost strikes lowers the piece's quality. For this minigame, aim for spots that are directly attached to the green area. If this leaves any floating single squares, they will clear automatically without counting against your number of strikes. Number five, each town has a vendor that you can sell excess materials to. You might want to hold on to your ore stack, but this is a great place to sell those orange quality pieces that you accidentally made. Making perfect purple quality pieces is the best way to maximize your profits. You can earn bonus gold for better pieces and mainline quest items will always need perfect conditions. So instead, sell your mistakes and make bank. Number six, while the town merchants only take materials, you may be wondering where you sell those 10 frying pans you accidentally made or the claymore from a random chest. After you complete the first town, you'll be sent through the swamp. Head north through the swamp and then to the east. You'll see a person driving another cart. They aren't a bandit, it's actually a traveling merchant. You can sell your unwanted goods here to free up your valuable inventory space. Number seven, and speaking of space, how do you get more inventory spots in this game? You'll want to check the table in front of your house and you'll find town upgrades. The first upgrade to your house gives you a wardrobe to store items that you won't need while traveling. This is a good place to put old quest items and letters, plus cosmetic items for your ox. To increase your travel inventory, you need the second barn upgrade. This gives you a second chest for your cart. And number eight, talk to everyone and visit everything you see in the overworld and in the towns. After having completed three towns in the game, I can assure you nothing bad will happen. In fact, you'll often get quests or puzzles that give you some good rewards. Editing Cat here with a bonus number nine. Don't die! Seriously though, if you pass out, you will not only lose some money, but you'll get slammed with debuffs that run your stamina out quicker and break your tools faster. So don't pass out. And that's it! Those are my eight early game tips for While the Iron's Hot. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more cozy game content and Let's Plays. If you like cat pictures, we're an active bunch over on Discord. Links to everything are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.